what's up coffee explorers so again this is a video of absolute masochism check it out we got something well some people think it's absolutely amazing others think it's absolutely terrible this is my second time reviewing this the first time I did there is a video right here that'll show you the first time that I tried durian when it was fresh over in Vietnam but what I have right here is uh, it's the frozen premium Musang King pulp durian it's a D197 I've heard that this is the absolute best variety of durian you can get I picked it up at a Vietnamese grocery store up in Renton, Washington the other day. This package was 25 US dollars. Absolute insanity. I think I saw back in Vietnam that about the same amount of durian was probably about $10 US, uh, right around 200,000 dong. This is a product of Malaysia. They say this is the best variety. There's about 60 different varieties of durian out there. Uh, it's also known as the corpse fruit. But let's check it out and I'm really really not looking forward to this <laughs> I, I was actually trying to get some friends to come over and, and, and try this with me but uh, they backed out yeah it's unfortunate but it is what it is I guess they're just all scared here we have this packaged in this uh, looks like a vacuum pack here all right let's go ahead get this thing open okay Ooh. oh I can already smell it Whew. Whew. that is some stinky <laughs> oh boy Ooh. there you go neighborhood <laughs> have some of that <laughs> Wow, <laughs> this is just rank. Oh man, you guys are so lucky that this isn't smell-o-vision. I gotta tell you that because you would be turning this video off right now. Uh, uh, so what does it smell like? Let's see. Um, well, th actually this one, as far as durian goes, this one doesn't smell as bad as a lot of them that I have smelled in the past. Uh, but it's kind of like overripe pineapple with some onion mixed in. Hmm. There's something else that I'm missing there. For, for once, it doesn't have the smell of carcass. Uh, usually, Usually all the durian that I have ran into in the past, I have smelled carcass. When I was in Vietnam, if you come at me, like within a block of a place that was selling fresh durian, you smelled it a block away, and it wasn't pleasant. Ah, uh, jeez. Now, this is really, really goopy and fleshy. I'm just going to cover this. Just like... It's almost like Play-Doh. Uh, let's go ahead and eat it, huh? Hmm. Oh, God. Ugh. like god like the texture is just I don't know like mud only it doesn't have any like sand grains in it it's just like creamy it's it's not good um I, I don't know if it's because it was frozen that it, it, 
I was, I was actually kind of expecting it to taste better. I don't know. Yeah, there's definitely like like onion that's on the verge of going bad. The texture's kind of like good if you were to blend up a a banana, or like a overly ripe banana, just blend it up and take all the this juice out of it, and then put that in your mouth. That that's kind of the texture that you're getting with this frozen durian. Yeah, yeah, this is disgusting. But, but so when I tried it the last time. I had a small piece and it was absolutely horrible, but then I had a big piece and it was entirely better. So let's see if we can find a bigger piece in here. And here we go. Let, let's try this one. Oh. It's like sweet onion custard. It's <laughs> Jesus. That is just absolutely not pleasant at all. But oh, I keep eating it. Why, why do I do this? Like last time, the bigger piece tastes better than the smaller piece. I don't get why people like this stuff. It's it's not good. <laughs> oh, people go crazy for it though. It, uh, yeah. This definitely masochism going on here. <laughs> the things I do and I knew I didn't like it that's the funny part did I figure that because it was frozen in the United States it was gonna be different I mean it is different uh, it's worse uh, <laughs> oh man and then I spent $25 on this too and I, I, why, why did I do that <laughs> I just I, I don't I don't understand try durian I mean, do everything once. I mean, it's definitely don't don't take my opinion. You're gonna have to try it for yourself. Maybe you'll like it. A lot of people really do love it, and they swear by it. And but my friend Max, Max McFarlane from My Kind of Eats, he'd eat durian every day if he had the chance. And well, he's still over in Vietnam, so he gets that opportunity. He absolutely swears by this stuff. It's not for me, but you might ab absolutely love it. But you might hate it more than I do. I don't know. Durian. The corpse fruit. Masochism. <laughs> well, hope you go ahead and like and subscribe. Hopefully I made you laugh. That's really why I do these videos is hopefully you get a chance to laugh or to give you some information about stuff. Help you be more informed when you're out traveling. As always, I'm not going to say eat grapefruit because... Now this is just disgusting. <laughs> Have a good one, everybody. If you found any value or entertainment in this video, I would definitely, definitely appreciate it if you were to give the video a like and maybe even subscribe to my channel and uh, share it with your friends. It would definitely help me with the algorithm. That would be awesome. Thanks.